Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this episode of 6163 Dive Life. And we have a featured gun for today. This is my first custom built wooden spear gun from a local gun maker. So, papakita ko yung features niya, yung mga specs niya, at saka yung ginawa kong test run with it for a dive. Now, if this sort of thing is of interest sa'yo, make sure na nakafollow ka sa page natin and nakasubscribe ka sa YouTube channel natin. So before we get started, let's just admire first this baby. Hope you enjoy that. Na pag-usapan natin yun yung actual specifications ng barrel. So this is a wooden spear gun. This is a 110, 110 centimeters. This was made by one of our local gun makers yung sa Pilipinas. He's one of the best. And kung kilala mo yung trabaho niya sa shape palang, alam mo na ako sino gumawa nito. So I decided na hindi ko na lang i-mention yung gun maker kasi yung last namin na conversation I don't think he's looking forward to make any more spear guns at the moment. He's a bit busy. Now, itong barrel na to, initially yung usapan namin was it should be set up with a 7mm shaft. Uh, however, unfortunately, walang 7mm at the moment. So I just settled for a 675 shaft i'll see if it makes any difference but this particular shaft this is a pathos stainless steel um, very good shaft very popular uh, this one also has a rest tab which i kind of like Alam ko yung iba ayaw eh, but for me it's okay makes it a lot easier to reload and then the other bit is your rubber this is set up since again since this was supposedly a 7mm shaft, usually ang kapartner ng 7mm shaft would be 14mm rubber. This is a USA latex. So, it's just perfect for that. Tama-tama lang, hindi siya masyadong mahirap ikasa. But I do not think na nawawalan ka ng power na kailangan mo or range. I feel like 7mm, 14mm shaft is, is a very good combination. And then, one of the most important parts as well, ang pinili ko is Hermes na roller mech. Medyo mas mahal siya sa typical na mech, pero 
I will explain on a separate video kung bakit ko pinili tong Hermes na roller mic and why it is. I feel like it's more superior dun sa mga regular na mic. I'll explain it again on a separate video. That's how it is. And the gun maker actually wrapped it with, itong handle wrapped it with a carbon fiber handle. So it looks amazing. And of course, the paint job. Look at that. Such a good looking gun. Now I tested it out. And it's just well balanced. Um, kung baga, it's almost doesn't move sa, sa tubig pag binitawan ko. I still a bit more testing. Need to do a bit more testing with it. And on this video, I'll show you yung mga dives ko. Mga first few dives ko with it. And I was just testing it and seeing how it behaves sa tubig. So we'll go on. Do that. And let's go for those videos. In this part of the video, papakita ko kung paano ko tinetesting yung barel. I'm checking kung how it feels, kung ano yung buoyancy niya sa ibaba o sa ilalim, how it feels sa kamay ko, and pag nasa ilalim, yung tracking yung pag-ibu niya going left to right, kasi this is my first wooden gun, so this is purely testing stage. In this case, wala muna tayo kukunin isda, so testing lang muna tayo. Not really. Wala lang talaga tayo nahuli. Fuck.